Hi, and welcome back to All Around Beauty 411. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a nice, easy, and light wear makeup that you can practically do for every day. Let's get started. So, to start this video off, we're going to start with the eyebrows, and then we're going to work our way down to the eyes, and then the face, and then to set everything off for the look, the lips. And now we're going to start off with my eyebrows. Personally, I don't fill my eyebrows in because I naturally have thick eyebrows. I just use a little bit of eyebrow gel. So, here we go. So, we're going to get my nice little makeup bag, which I got it from Target. It was probably about 15 bucks, maybe. But it's really good. I like the color. So, the eyebrow gel that I'm going to use for this video is the eyebrow gel from Bobbi Brown. Um, it doesn't have any color in the eyebrow, it's just clear. So, let's gel them up. Boys seem to like the girls who laugh at anything. So now that I've done my eyebrows, I'm going to be using two coats of mascara. The first coat of mascara is by CoverGirl, it's Super Sizer. This one helps with length from top to bottom. Ooh. And the second coat that I'm going to be using today is by Bobbi Brown. It lasts all night. And I like the bristles on my eyelashes because it's nice and soft. And here it is. Okay. Let's get some eyelashes on. The ones who get undressed before the second day. Okay, and now that the first coat of mascara is done, we're going to move on to the second coat. Yay! Don't seem to like the boys, so don't appreciate Okay, now that the eyes are done, we're going to work on the face. So, before I use any type of foundation or anything to my whole face, I like to use the Lush Tea Tree Water. Um, it's toner basically, and you can spray it all over your face, or you could spray it on a cloth, as I'm going to do, and you just put your whole face. So, let's do it! Now that that is finished, I will be moving on to the foundation. I like to use powder foundation, just because it doesn't really irritate my skin as much. And I will be using two coats. The first coat of foundation is Neutrogena's Skin Clearing Mineral Powder. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. It actually feels like really soft and silky to the skin. And the second coat that I will be using is Max Studio Fix. I love this so much because it just fix up any little kind of errors or mistakes that I missed with this and plus I found out that mixing these together really high like it just does wonders guys does wonders um you can pick this up at your local drugstore um I got mine from CVS um and as far as the Mac Studio fix I got mine from the mall the Delama mall and yeah I just went to the makeup counter and uh, they matched my skin color. So, yeah. What I will be using is the powder brush by Beauty360 to apply both coats. So, yeah. Let's get started. I'm that it takes to be so, you can see that the face is already starting to come together. I've applied foundation from my forehead all the way down to kind of where my shirt stops. Just so that way everything can look smooth and go together. And now for the second coat. I as a mother, got my both eyes out for me to write. Okay, now that that is complete, um, I once again applied it from my forehead all the way down to where my shirt ends. Now it's time to pick out. A favorite lip color. Oh. 
Um, but in this video, since we're doing something nice and simple, I won't be doing lipstick. I picked out my favorite lip gloss. Once again, I love Bobbi Brown, so it's Bobbi Brown's lip gloss. It's more of like a pink color, but it's like a sheer pink. Um, so yeah. But first, before I apply the lip gloss, I'm going to use once again, I love this stuff. It's Vaseline's Lip Therapy, and it works so good. I apply it before I put any kind of lipstick, lip gloss, anything. I even put it on before I go to bed. And this just softens the lips, and it keeps it moist throughout the day. So yeah, just apply it as so. Not a lot. Okay, and now it's time to put the lip gloss on. And I've done my lips. So, this is something that's light and easy. You can barely tell that I have any kind of makeup on. And now you know me. I love taking selfies. So, let's do a selfie. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. And next week video, I will be talking about how to do homemade acrylics. <laughs> that will save you little to no time, and it's easy and affordable. Thank you guys for watching. Tune in for next week. Oh, and I'm out. <laughs>